The difference now is you got control of the collar. <coughs> so when you're here, your right foot's going to go on the floor. Your left elbow is going to flare out. So you're here and here. You're kind of keeping him down when he posts, when he postures up, you're still coming up to the side. You want to make sure you're not, you're not staying square with him. So one, off of the name. This foot's coming in, and the knee is going back out. Don't keep the knee in. You're not doing a, a scissor sweep. So when that, when that foot comes in, that knee goes back out. You're using this to help control. When you go back the other way to insert this foot, you're taking this hand with you. So you just move your head, push, and insert. That's the angle you want. Because he's here, pulling this way, he's gonna wanna try to posture back up and square on you. So you let him go ahead and do so, and then you just insert. When you do that, you reach up and grab belt, gi, lat, doesn't matter whatever you have in here. But you don't want this leg to be flat. You want to be in here. So, and I also want to start to come up to here. <clears throat> so, here's what I'm saying. All the way through. Cross this up. And I'm either here or here. So if that leg is flat, he's probably going to put his hand on it. But if, if it's there, he might be trying to block it a bit. Try to keep it in. Because you're going to be able to get your knee up instead of being completely flat on the So you're going to get the knee up. If the leg is flat, then he's going to be able to try to start making his pass and stuff. We've got the hook in, but it's, it's going to be bad. It's going to be worse for you. If I have my knee up and he starts pushing it down, i got a little resistance and I can scoot underneath. See, I can re retain that. But it's already down. Then I'm going to have to deal with what i got to deal with. That's what I want to work. Let's go. Sure. Sure.